stuff at dashcameras.ca as well as lockdownsecurity.ca and I'm just making a brief demo video of this brand new dash camera that we've gotten from a brand called Forview. Now Forview is a new brand from Korea made by a company called Bashio uh, that is new to North America. Now, we're one of the first people to, uh, our first companies to start carrying it. Uh, their first model is the new FCH100L. This is the nice fancy box here. It lists all the features. Basically what the FCH100L is, is a 3.5 inch touchscreen two channel dash camera. And what a two channel dash camera is, is a camera that has both a front lens and a secondary lens, which most people put in the rear of the vehicle, but you can place it wherever you want because it's a separate camera. And uh, this is actually what I have set up on my bench here. This is the main camera. As you can see, it is filming me right now. It's got a front mount LED. You can turn that on and off, by the way. It's got this nice, small, compact rear camera, which is on a 20-foot cable. And you can unplug this from the cable right here. And then the claim to fame for this camera is the 3.5-inch touchscreen. And there I am. Check that out that away there and before I go into too much detail about this camera because there's quite a lot to cover I just want to show you what comes in the box so first things first comes with the main camera the second camera the 20 foot cable comes with the box comes with a user guide on CD comes with a GPS antenna or location tracking comes with a power cable as well as if you don't want a hardwire, it comes with a cigarette lighter, 12 volt jack cable. Uh, it comes with extra stickies, cable mounts, SD card adapter. It goes from SD to micro SD. Micro SD is what it is using. It's a 16 gig card that it comes with. So that shows you that. Now, what's cool about this camera that is different than a lot of other cameras is the built in power management. And I am bringing that up because it's a pretty cool feature so let me just show you here so on the back you've got some LEDs that shows you if the GPS is on this shows you the state it's currently recording there's a reset button in there this is the touch screen shows you the rear camera the front camera home button shows you it's an event recording mode right now some other things that it's giving you a status on SD card gets mounted right there GPS antenna there power and your rear camera right there. You've got some cable management built into this bracket right here. And that kind of gives you an idea of how the camera works. The other cool thing about this camera that a lot of cameras do not have is an on off switch right here. You can actually turn this camera on and off via this switch. So if, you know, for whatever reason you want to turn the camera completely off, you can do so. Now, let's go to the home screen here so I can show you the power management that I was telling you about. So we're going to see right now it is time and date right there. You can see some more some menu settings here. User recording if you want to play stuff back. Settings, real time video, recording list. If you go here, recording will be stopped when switching to the settings menu. Yes. So now I'm in the setting menu where I can change things like volume, turn the speaker up and down microphone volume you can turn up and down recording settings change it to infinite recording infinite event parking mode event parking mode off I can change the sensitivity infinite sensitivity parking sensitivity that's basically the motion sensitivity settings so that it, it, de it, it determines on how sensitive it is to outside influences for recording during those modes change the display setting I can have it so it displays front and rear front video only rear view again you can use this camera as with other cameras for a backup camera uh, if you wanted to you can have the LCD turn on and off within a set time or you can disable it go to the next page you can do real-time video on real-time video off you can calibrate the touch screen um, let's go to system settings this is where it gets pretty cool so you can change the parking timer so how long will it record in parking mode? 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours, or two hours. Low voltage setting, so watch this. So basically, you can change the voltage setting from either 
12 volts or 24 volts and you can change this down. So what does that mean? Well that means that if the camera senses the vehicle voltage dropping to or below that number it will shut the camera off and you can go basically all the way up to 12.4 or if you're running construction equipment 24.8 all the way down to 11.5 okay so that means that if it hits any of those settings or any of those voltage levels it will shut the camera off preventing your vehicle from dying you change the calendar date and time your LED we can disable and now if I turn this around there is no more LED. If I turn this on, mode 3, look at that, it's like a little smiley face. Mode 1, goes faster. I'm not a fan of LEDs, so I'm going to put that on disable. Information tells you the model, the firmware, and the SD memory card, how much is left of that card. That's pretty much it for this camera. It, it is a very nice touchscreen camera, and if you take a look here, I'm just going to go to our website, dashcameras.ca. Here it is. Here we have this on sale right now, an introductory offer of $249.99, with free shipping anywhere in North America. You're going to get the camera, the front camera, the rear camera, everything that's in this box, and shipping to your door great value we don't have very many cameras that offer this many features for that price and if you're in the market for a touchscreen camera this could be the one for you if you have any questions feel free to call us 1-866-824-4118 or you can visit our website at dashcameras.ca which is right here thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day